Ooh. Ooh. Okay, graduation cake. She gave it another try. That one looks good. Gorgeous. Now, here's the other thing. If you're doing toppers, if you're doing cake toppers, you're, you're not necessarily selling the cake. So if you're doing cake toppers, then you probably want to do a cake that doesn't have like a, um, an image on top like that. Maybe something more like image number four, because when you put a topper on it, then the topper makes sense. This one, if you put a topper on it, a little bit of overkill, but they did turn out to be beautiful cakes. But that's the difference in what you're looking for. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. That's the difference in what you are looking for. You're looking for something that helps you display and sell your product. So, yeah, it might be a pretty cake with a graduation cap on top, but you want to make that graduation cap cake? No. This I'm not going to make this cake either, but what I can do is uh, put the uh, topper on top of this one. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, gorgeous. So like I said, when I put the word graduation there, it tends to like dumb it down, but some of these are probably more like wedding cakes. I don't care if it looks like a wedding cake and it has a beautiful topper on it and it makes them want to buy the topper because of the way the cake looks, then it's a win because I'm not making cake. I'm making the topper. Okay, so this one I really like image number four. I really like image number two as well. This is gonna help me sell my work, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me check out Marie in room number 24. Y'all have some gorgeous mock-ups. Ooh, we your balloons came out nice too. Ooh, you got a chocolate. Yes. That chocolate got me excited for a second. <laughs> yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Okay, with the lime green. Let me see what this lime green is cooking up right now. <laughs> gorgeous this looks good y'all y'all keep keep playing now keep playing i, I know it's, it's work but you're playing too okay so i want to get to uh some of the other products i have on my list i have for the keepsakes and you can just use the same um, the same prompt that you used for the uh, for the invitation. So go to that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to go up to All right, all right. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here. Y'all, this is looking so good. All right, and let's say for instance the uh, the button pin. Uh, we're still gonna do a top view. I'm gonna take this one here because I know it's the same prompt here. Forward slash hit enter. And this time I'm not gonna do an invitation. I'm gonna put down button pin and then see what it gives me there. Now you can do, remember we did one with the wood background. We also just did one where we just described a luxury party and we didn't specify a wood background. I know the wood background is very popular, but I want you to understand the textures as well. There's marble, there's concrete, there's, um, there's paper. You can even do like fabric. So, so you can put different grounds here. All right, and this one tend, looks like it's gonna be really zoomed in because it's just a button pin. But um, this one didn't quite what I wanted. Okay, so when I do a blank white round button pin, I'm gonna put four mock-up. Mm 
And we'll still put blue roses. Let's see if I put for mock up in there. So usually if it understands you're mocking something up, it doesn't actually put the images inside of there. Gotcha, Hannah. Thank you. Now I want you to run a similar prompt for the, um, I'm gonna go back to my room. How many of you plan on doing digital invitations? If you plan on doing digital invitations, give me a six in the chat. Oh, oh, everybody's doing digital invitations. Cool. Okay. So let me find my prompt here. So same idea here. This one is on wood. This one is not on wood. I'm going to go ahead and prompt this one again. So this is the top view of a blank white iPhone. Even though iPhones don't come away, I'm not even worried that it's an iPhone because I'm not going to use the phone as is. I'm going to replace it with my image on top of it, y'all. So I'm just telling it I want an iPhone so that maybe it'll put the shadows in there and it'll put my roses where it'll leave enough space for the iPhone. All right, with blue roses, luxury party theme, natural lighting. And you don't have to put blue roses. You don't have to put blue flowers. You do not have to do any of that. Like I said, I do that because when I want, when I have people scroll down my page, I want it to look more luxury. So I'm incorporating elements that they might feel is more upscale. Um, also, if you are into boho chic, try that one because it creates some really, really pretty mock-ups if you put boho chic at the end. Perfect. So y'all are doing digital save the dates, digital invitations. Perfect. All right. You see one of these gave me like a little marble type of background. I got my roses in there. Now I don't have to put roses at all this time. I'm going to go for the party theme. And here is we can put, I'm going to put graduation party theme, and I'm going to take out the luxury party theme. And I'm also going to take out the roses. But when I put the graduation party theme, I'm still going to put the theme colors as blue. Because I still want to have that whole blue ambiance. All right, so we are almost done, y'all. We're actually over a little bit of time. I know um, I was going to spend some more time with you all prompting tonight because we had a lot of first timers in the prompting room. Want to make sure we were good for that. All right, let's see what it's making. And see, I didn't even tell it to put flowers, but it put flowers in some. It put, looks like some pens and probably trying to be an eye pencil, but that's not quite making it. Um, but this one has a little confetti. That one's cool. All right, so um, this one has some wrinkled fabric in the background, but it's still blue. You know, it still works. Um, I actually kind of like the little wrinkled fabric, maybe. I could use that as inspiration and tell it that I want like a denim in the background as a texture. Let's see what that does. All right. So I believe um, even though this may not be everything that's on our list, like, so for instance, we talked about one to do chip bags, Rice Krispies, treat toppers, that sort of thing. Most of any of those things can be done on these mock-ups if we do them the way that we're supposed to do them. Uh, hold on a second, y'all. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm over here looking like a glow worm, but I didn't turn my, my lights on this thing. It's, it's all in my face. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Even the one that just has a texture background there. 
and it didn't officially give me denim. I don't know why my phone is bigger than my shirt. Hey, if that's how it goes, um, this one is cool here. It has a little fabric with elliptic sleeves. I like that. So I just want you to, to, to basically practice your prompting, get some good stuff out of this so that we can turn into some real work. That yeah, one's pretty and I'd like this one. Now I'm not focused on whether this looks like a real iPhone because my point is, I don't care if it's an iPhone one, if this iPhone one even exists. If it's an iPhone one, cool. All I'm gonna do is remove it and place my image from my automizer inside of this mock-up, okay? So now we're going to get into the Photoshop side of things. I want you all to keep prompting, prompt things that I didn't even talk about, if there are more products, because what I'm doing right now is I'm going over some Photoshop stuff. Y'all have about 30 minutes to finish prompting um, while I'm going over the Photoshop stuff. And then we're going to get into the, um, in, get into our survey for tonight. And that's going to be really important. Y'all don't drop off on that part because that's where I understand where you all need help, where you are now, and where you were the last time we did this challenge, okay? These do look really good. I know, I know. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into our Photoshop portion of this. I'm going to keep this open because I may be referencing some of these images. I'm actually going to go in here now. And see, is there anything that I upscale that I want to bring in? Oh, this is just going to be too much fun. All right, let me work with some things that I already have on here. Okay, so my idea here is we are creating some, um, some basically uh, lookbook pieces, if you will. Right now, these are going to be your collection and your product images, okay? So, well, some of them will be depending on if you get gold, okay? So that's why I want y'all to get gold because I want y'all to get in there, lock in with me. All right, so I'm going to go to this drop here. Have a couple of images there. Let's see what we generated here. Let's see what y'all generated here. And then I'm just going to put in the word backdrop and see what I get. 286 results, that means we have almost, almost 1,200 different options in here just for the backdrops. Ooh, I'm liking this one. Ooh, I really like this one. Janetta, this one's nice. Okay, I'd like two with the metallic balloons. I don't even know, I'm sure balloons exist like that. I'm sure they do. Ooh, I was, ooh, that is so pretty. This one right here, this looks a little boho chic. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple of these so I can show you how I would put them into, this one will be an easy one, but I have something like that already. And then I also, I like two and I also like four. So image number two should be upscaled by now for me right here probably upscale it that's going to make it a little bit bigger i like the denim here okay that's actually cooking a little bit now All right, so I'm gonna let that finish upscaling here. Let's see what else I need. I'm gonna do a background here. While, while that, I'm gonna go ahead and use this here. My idea is I wanna see if I can kind of separate the foreground and the background right now. So I'm going to do, my object selection. And then tell it I want to use the cloud to my subject. And let's just see what it selects. Uh, not really. It's not getting all my garland here. So I don't like that. Let me try manual selection instead. This one looks like manual selection looks like it did better. Now what I'm going to do is control J. So I can put a copy right on top. And then I'm gonna come over to my, my PNG exports from my automizer. 
and I'm looking for my backdrop. All right, and I'm gonna put it in the front garland, I just added the back image there. Make sure I'm on my move tool here. All right. And this one, because it has these little intricate little flowers here, is I don't like how it's looking on the front. So I'm just put a layer mask on here, clean this up a little bit by using my brush tool. It's pretty and all, but it looks a little messy on top of my banner. And like I said, this is a mock-up, y'all. I'm not claiming that I know what, I don't know. I just may happen to know that those are hydrangeas. I don't know what these flowers are. I don't know what they do. My whole point is I'm making sure that I'm making a good impression for my product. Um, I'm also going to grab these down here at the bottom. Same thing here. Hold down shift and grab those two. And then control J. Now you all aren't following along with me on this part. This is just me kind of showing you, hey, let me show you what Photoshop could do in addition to your, your AI. Okay, so when I have this outline and space that I want it, For this one, I could even, because I'm not doing balloons, I could probably hide. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide my little rails on the side. Boom. So how I'll do that is I'm just going to grab this section here, hold down shift, grab this section here. Add a layer mask. It's going to do the opposite of what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to do control I to invert it. And then, like I said, these extra pieces here, I don't like all that. So I'm going to use my brush tool here on the layer mask. I lied because I didn't put a layer mask on it. There's one. And I'm just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. And I could be much more precise on the brush. But I do want y'all to get something else done with me today. Right, so that's how I do with the flow. Um, one, two, and three, those are all combined. So I'm going to link them so they all move. And I would do the same thing for this set. Very but now I'm gonna do one with balloons. Hopefully if it's ready. Here it is. Let's open that in the browser. I really like how it has the metallic details and the little flowers there. That's really cool to me. So I'm going to right click, save image as. So this is the balloon and floral backdrop. I'm going to save this number two. All right, so I'm going to drag this on top now. Now, this one should be a little bit easier to find the object, but just in case, I'm going to select here. And it looks like it selected everything. I'm going to hit the Control J. 
Then the back part of it, I put behind my image. Front part of it, I put in front of the banner. And boom, I'm gonna lock those two. Make that a little bit bigger. And here, because this one arches, my banner is a little big here. If I bring it down, I'm missing a little bit here. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take some of this here, Control J, which has copied it, Control T, which transforms it. I'm gonna flip it horizontal, put it behind here and move it. I need to be on my move tool. What I'm doing here is just filling it up so it takes up that little corner. A little slight work. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, y'all. All right, now these balloons are a little light. My color's royal blue. These colors are a little, a little bit lighter than blue. So I'm going to take all three of these is and link them. And then just for this group here, where am I clicking on something I'm not supposed to be? Oh yeah, this y'all y'all are not doing this for me. As a matter of fact, if you get gold, I'm giving you all the work that I'm doing right now. I'm giving you if you get gold. Let me show y'all something. I'm sitting here making all the, I done made this mock-up for y'all, this mock-up for y'all, this mock-up, all off of the stuff that we did tonight, okay? So the more you all do, the more I will do. Because when I see you all doing a lot of work, I will make assets to give to the gold. Now, what I'm showing you is just what the power of Photoshop plus AI is. I'm just showing off a little bit. I do not expect you all to be following along. Not at all. Please don't follow along. Matter of fact, I prefer for you to keep prompting in your prompt room so that you're excited about uh, creating resources for it. So the idea here is inside of the prompt room, I explain this earlier, I got a little off track. So especially for my new folks, my newbies, um, this is a prompt room for all of us. You're prompting in your room only because it gives you like a safe place to, to, to create your images and kind of mess up a little bit, correct it, that sort of thing. And it's not so busy because before we used to all prompt in the same room and it would get crazy. Um, but everything that is on the server. So right now I'm going to type in uh, fast here. We have 1,430 results, which is times four, which is about 6,000 images that everybody can use right now. Imagine creating 6,000 images by yourself with your little mid-journey credits, okay? The idea here is that we can use these images to produce our work and we are all collectively creating and collectively using this work. So just like I used Janetta's balloons earlier, Janetta had beautiful balloons. I'm gonna use those to, uh, to show you as an example what you can do for mocking up, okay? If I like this is that creative chick 50, ooh, I love this little nappy right here. And this one right here, I can put my, I can put my flat invitation right on top of that and a little rose will pop out, perfect. All right, so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for assets where you don't have to stretch your brain and stretch your wallet to come up with by yourself. All right, now one thing I didn't get, I didn't get a registration test. Um, let me see who has the best registration desk. That one is pretty. Oh, all of these look so good. Okay, I'm gonna look up ones that are already upscaled. Cause that means y'all like them. I'm looking for one that y'all like. So this one's upscaled, that means you like it. Let me go to, jump to that one. It hasn't been creatively upscaled yet. So when you creatively upscale it, that looks good. Um, I'm going to check mine too, because I think I had one that had these little sconces that was really pretty too. This one here. I like that one as well. I think, did I? Oh, yeah, I already creatively upscaled this one. So I'm going to open it in browser. So I'm going to show you how to 
table runner for this one. So let's go ahead and save that image. Did I already save it? Not yet. All right, so this is gonna be my table running for my registration desk. Got my floral backdrop looking good. Well, balloon and floral. I'm gonna save it first before I close it. Y'all don't even know what I had to do to this chip bag to make it work. So that's our, our chip bag. Uh, I guess, let me show you what I've already done because we got only a little bit of time left. Okay, so this one, I'll show you what I started as. So it started as this. I moved it over because I, I wanted my chip bag to be able to show front and back here. So I created an extension of the image here with AI on, on Photoshop. All I did was select this area of the image that didn't exist. And then I hit generative fill, generative fill again. Boom, it gave me that. Then I had selected the entire chip bag here. And um, looks like my options went away there. I did some generation after that. But it generated like a, a little bottle instead because it was trying to compensate for the shadow that was here. I wanted to keep the shadow there, y'all. Like I said, when you're developing your mock-up, sometimes you don't even know where shadows go. You don't know what things are supposed to look like. So I can just very easily put this on a wood or concrete flat background. I do it all the time. But what AI is helping me with is to say, okay, well, the AI put those little chips right there. I like that it put those chips there. So what did I do? I cut the chips out and put them in the foreground. All right. And then that little bottle that's behind here is hiding. All right. So I'm going to create a few mock-ups with y'all, if y'all don't mind. Or maybe just one or two. <laughs> you were having trouble with the chips. All right, let me see. Oh, uh, let's see. What am I doing here? Control D. What is it talking about? All right, Control D, and then let me make sure. What is my original? Oh, original file type was PNG. Now that ain't gonna be a PNG no more now. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna make this a smart object. And now, I'm gonna save this. Actually, all I gotta do is just do it and put it over on my chip bag. All right, I'm just moving this for y'all. Or y'all now y'all see all the work that goes into making these mock-ups and stuff, y'all. So like last time I asked who was using their gold resources, and y'all y'all didn't. I, I I thought I heard some crickets. If I heard crickets, I need us to get right because y'all see how much energy it takes to make this stuff, y'all. Do you see? All right. And then, like I said, this was the original chip bag the AI gave me. And then this is what I did with the atomizer plus the, uh, um, the AI. So we're just combining those efforts here. All right, I'm gonna do one more mock-up with y'all. Now this is one that, oh, I guess I'll do two because I'm gonna do the registration desk and then I'm gonna do uh, this tumbler here. I, I did some, um, I wrote some emails for y'all. One of the emails gave an idea to use tumblers, your 20 ounce tumblers as vases and keepsakes for your centerpieces. I don't know if we thought of that. I never thought of that. So with that idea, it got me to thinking that, um, that we should do a mock-up of that because I'm not gonna make a whole tablescape just to show that, but I will 
use one of my mockups. So all I'm going to do here, just make sure that this basically fits my current situation. Now, the difference here is that the way the vase is, is kind of going down at an angle, but I'll show you what to do with that. I'm going to make the opacity a little bit lighter here. I'm just looking for that kind of cylindrical fit. A little bit bigger. I want to cover up that white there. All right. And then what I'm going to do is with this turned off, I'm going to use this uh, quick selection tool here. And I'm going to select just the white of the face. I got a little bit more than what I bargained for here. So I'm going to hold down Alt to subtract until that I don't want this over here. Hold down shift to add to it. Let me make my brush a little bit smaller. All right, I'm using all which is subtracting from the selection, a little straight line there. So what I'm going to do is turn that into a layer mask. Turn that back on. Turn my opacity back up. Turn my blend mode to multiply. Do I want to use hard light? like hard light on this one. All right, I cleaned up a little more than I should have, and I probably need to round that a little bit. But you get the idea here that what we is uh, just creating a visual representation for the customer where they can understand they can do the products. And like I said, I'll have to clean that up a little bit, and I'll round it a little bit for y'all. All right. Uh -huh, you got a 0% a opacity on your chip bag. Now you got translucent chips. All right. So I'm going to work on some of these for y'all. Now, here's the thing. The more I see y'all working during the challenge, the more I will take some of your images and turn them into mock-ups for you. Okay. This one is going to be, y'all said y'all wanted to do the entry. So I'm going to create an entry here for this one. This one will be the sidewalk signs. It's going to go along the sidewalk. So it just won't be one sign. It'll be several. So I'm going to, uh, to basically create a whole lookbook for you all here. Only, and, and y'all have to let me know because how hard you work in the AI room tonight is how hard I have to work tonight to pull some of those to life. Because what you all do will end up on your banner smart for your Shopify store. Okay. And Des, you make the you make the bouquets with the tumbler. So that should be a good upsell because you do the bouquets with the treats in them for the for the tumblers. Yes. Yeah. Again, so <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Um, I'll show you here too uh, just a little trick that I did with these water bottles to make them a little more transparent. I did these, but um, this is how it came to me. Little glass bottle. And then uh, I did some AI magic here to get rid of the bottle. When I placed the bottle, I just used a, a little bit of a lighter, uh, maybe like a 35% brush here uh, for my opacity in order to uh, mask off some of the water bottle so that if I turn this layer mask off, I disable it to so see this opaque. But then when I turn it on, it kind of lets the ground show through to make it a little more realistic. So, like I said, I've been the hard work, hard work, but that time you thought y'all worked hard. You thought y'all worked hard. Imagine what I did on the back end. The more that I saw you all willing to do, the more I was able and willing to put in to give you all those resources. 
All right. So y'all enjoying this. I didn't know if y'all was going to enjoy this because this is that part that's not exactly the fun design part, but it's seeing it all come together. And just imagine this is your party website. And this is going to look so much better. I promise I was seeking party websites that look like this and I saw none of it. So you all will be the first that I know of to even have a party page, a landing page for your party favors that look anything like this. I promise you. Okay. All right. So um, let's move on. We have to close out our AI shop session and we have to go back into this. Well, if you're in the Zoom room, you're good for the challenge. And we're going to continue with our task for tonight. I promise I will not hold you long, but we're going to go over why you're here and how I can help you. So this is the important part. And we're going to talk about your homework, how you get the points so that you can collect the points to go for gold. If you get gold status, you get all of your resources for free. So all of the mock-ups that I'm doing, all the banners that I'm doing, all of the, I have bonus on top of bonus on top of bonus design templates that you get. If you get the gold, you get free AI classes. If you get the gold, what else? I gave y'all a plug and play, all of your emails written out for the month, all of your tips written out for the month, all of your social media prompts written out for 30 days. I gave you all of that if you got gold. Some of y'all had to buy the gold at the end because you didn't get the gold. I'm trying to tell you how to get the gold. Do your homework every single day. Make sure you're hitting all of the points because each homework has multiple points to get. And then once you do that, as long as you get a 100%, you guarantee gold, baby. All right. Now, next time I'm going to make gold harder. Gold is going to be harder the next time we run this, uh, this challenge, okay? All right, so for everyone on YouTube, I'm sorry I wasn't able to see y'all, but y'all know I'm focused on the Zoom room. I'm just giving y'all some freebies out there in the Zoom, uh, in the YouTube world. I appreciate you. I love you dearly. And until next time, bye. Don't miss another challenge. Y'all want to be in the Zoom room. I don't know why y'all watching on the YouTube side anyway. Come on to this side next time. Bye, y'all. All right, so everybody that's still in the Zoom room, y'all stay here with me. Don't the recording has stopped. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'll go ahead and wait to record. This meeting is here. being recorded. Perfect. So.